Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in the comments. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and you already know. If you have any questions, make sure to drop on below in the comments. I will be happy to make a video for you too. Same as the over 100 videos I made now on Shopify customization. They were mostly requests from subscribers, some of them not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Just a like button will help me out and wait actually until you see if the video did help you out then press the like button and if it didn't don't press the dislike button because it's not working it's broken just drop me a comment below I will help you out and that's working just fine and let's just quit talking and let me show you how to center the quantity selector on the mobile only for your Shopify product page and this is again a request by subscriber I think he is a subscriber this time I think because I made a video on how to center the variant selector and he did tell me on how to center the quantity selector as well I think he's the same person that's why and in this video as I said I will show you how to center the quantity selector on the mobile only for your Shopify product page and without any more talking Let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify uh, dashboard here, and I have the down team, which is the one I use for demonstration. I have the 15 version, which is the last one, as of now. I mean the last update. And uh, below here, I have every other team, including taste, sense, refresh, spotlight, and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because each trick I do share on my channel, I do demonstration and down in the video I mean but behind the scenes I do try it on every one of these so if you are using other than uh, down which is one of these it should work for you just fine and even if it didn't just drop me a comment I will be happy to help you out so I will do demonstration as I said on down chain but first let me show you the Shopify store where I will do the trick by the way if you are interested in how to change the color for the count bubble on the card check out my channel I already posted that video so let me access a product from here so we do demonstration on it. Let's just go maybe for earrings or something. Yeah, let's just go for this one. And again, if you are interested in how to make the products, the pictures, round corners like this, I already paste, post that video as well. So <laughs> I got you on every field, no worries. So let me switch back to the mobile version from here. And here we go. So if we see the quantity uh, selector is on the left. So on the center here it will look much much better for the mobile but on the desktop it will be the same just like this so the changes in this video will only apply when the visitor access the Shopify store or the product page to be precise on the mobile and I guess that's what the, the request was so uh, let's just keep this page here and we will do the trick and come back and see it in action so the first thing you're going to do is click on the three dots or left of customize for the team you are using and click on edit code then the next thing you're going to do we need to, to find a specific file so we will use the search bar at the top left corner and type in team and it will show you team.liquid right here simply click on it then in here we need to find another section again in order to do that simply click on the code or the page just one write something and don't write anything just if you are windows uh, click on uh, Control f if you are a Mac, click on Command F, just like me, and it will show you this prompt right here at the bottom of the page. Then type in forward slash head, just like this, without any spaces or anything like that, and hit enter, and it will highlight the part on the call, just like now. So let me close this down here, and in here we need to create some space between script and head. So click front of script and hit enter. Here we go, and use space in here because we're gonna paste a code in here, and how to get that code? that's very easy just scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code and simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're going to see a very short code and again this code is completely free no pay please no share please nothing like that just a like button if this video helped you out i would really appreciate it so let's just select the whole code make sure to select the whole thing and right click and copy after that we're going to get back in here and paste it between head and script and the space that we did create so let's just paste it in here and after that simply click on the save button couple of seconds here we go save it we will get back in here reload the page and it should be the same on the desktop but if I switch on the mobile check it out it's on the middle now as you can see the quantity selector is on the middle not on the left anymore and that's how you center the quantity selector on the mobile only 
for your Shopify product page. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.